SCSI is the acronym for Small Computer System Interface. It's not available in small computers and resides only in server hardware or standalone disk arrays, but it's important for the a professional to know about it. SCSI hard drives are the term used for the drives that actually have their own brain responsible for managing all SCSI drives and controlling the conversion between devices in a chain. The host adapter is an expansion card so you can chain SCSI devices off the adapter. Basically, the adapter is the brain of the SCSI bus and acts as the controller for the SCSI bus. The SCSI controller adapter is responsible for sending and receiving all of the information to and from the SCSI bus within the system. It takes information from one of the devices and gives that information to the SCSI controller, which gives the information to the appropriate device chain. In addressing, each external device is assigned an internal address and the SCSI controller knows the address of each of these devices. When it gets the information for that device, it references the device's ID so there's no confusion as to where the data goes. Here are a couple of technical facts that will come in handy about small computer system interface. When using SCSI cabling, the wider the cable, the higher the transfer rate as the data path is increased. In terms of size and capacity, LVD, or the Ultra 2 SCSI, has a transfer rate of 80 megabytes per second. SCSI 1 is 5 megabytes per second, and fast wide SCSI 2 is 20 megabytes per second. Finally, Ultra SCSI is 20 megabytes per second. Both the SCSI chain and DAISY chain are used interchangeably and synonymous for the technical terminology. This is used to combine a number of services in sequence. Let's do some quick discussion about Small Computer System Interface, Serial ATA, and the redundant array of inexpensive disk. Small Computer System Interface, SCSI, will support eight devices with a bus that includes a card counting as one of the devices. This is one of the benefits of SCSI technology. It can support a multitude of devices including hard drives, scanners, printers, tape drives, CD-ROM drives, and others. In the Serial ATA, IDE technology has run around for many years. SATA, or Serial ATA, is a newer hard drive technology which offers great speeds. SATA hard drive interface is hot swappable and comes in the following transfer speeds. You can have SATA version 1 at 150 megabytes per second, SATA version 2 at 300 megabytes per second, and SATA version 3 at 600 megabytes per second. SATA is preferred because of the cabling system which allows its cables to be longer than IDE ribbon connectors. SATA cable can be as long as 39 inches long. It also allows for better airflow because SATA contains less wires. The redundant array of inexpensive disk or RAID is an important concept because most larger computers or servers employ RAID hardware and this can take care of all the back-end operations required to keep multi-disk enclosures up and running. We will discuss three types of RAID RAID 0, RAID 1, and RAID 5. In RAID 0, you have two or more hard drives that are bound together in a single virtual disk volume. In RAID 1, you have a mirrored volume disk where every mirror of every disk has an input and output operation on the primary disk and then to a separate disk called a mirror disk. And in RAID 5, you blend the benefits of RAID 0 and the redundancy of RAID 1. There are many types of removable storage sold today on the market. Just a few of these are shown in some of these pictures. Some of the more common are CD-ROMs and rewritable CDs. These are optical storage technology that uses a laser to read and write data. The majority of these are rewritable can be written to many times. Most burners serve as a combination that allows you to burn CDs as well as rewrite them. Many also read digital versatile disks such as DVDs and DVDs can store up to 4.7 gigabytes of data. Solid state drives do not use magnets to store data, and they do not have any moving parts such as platters or read write heads that can be damaged. They simply store the data on a block of memory and have no moving parts, so they're considered superior to magnetic type drives due to the lack of moving parts. External drives are connected through USB connections and allow you to store gigabytes and terabytes of data depending on their use. They are great additions to any computer or laptop to provide additional memory storage. Thumb drives and flash drives are used because they store fairly large sizes of information and are very inexpensive. They're very portable and can be plugged into any USB port as a plug and play and they're instantly able to access any kind of drive for flash drive information. These are probably the most common drives that you're going to see today. 
SD cards are secure digital cards and are multimedia type devices used for things such as mobile phones, tablets, MP3 players, or cameras. These are very small in size and easily fit into smaller devices, increasing their memory capacity.